Hello everyone, my name is Marisa and today I'm going to do a tutorial for the Potomac Bead Company. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet that I'm calling my Garden Gate Bracelet. I did have some help with the name. I had no idea what to call this, although it did remind me of different things. I didn't, I didn't really, I couldn't really come up with a name. So I went, so we went on Facebook and got a name. So thank you very much for everybody who helped me with that. Okay, so this is a bracelet I'm going to show you how to make today. And this is using the new exclusive to Potomac Bead Company Iris Duos. And the Iris Duos in, these, in this bracelet are these um, bronze beads here. The brownish beads, the bronze beads here. And this is how it looks on. And it is a very cute bracelet. It's very, it's very nice. It lays flat and it feels really good on your wrist. And um, so, like I said, for this, we are going to need the brand new, and they're exclusive to Potomac Bead Company, the Iris Duos. And I'm using the Aztec Gold for the one I'm going to make with you today. You're also going to need Matubo beads, the 6O Matubo beads. And the ones I'm using are the Turquoise Picasso. You're also going to need some 2x3 rondelles. I'm using the Potomac rondelles and I'm using the Labrador in the 2x3. These are going to go outside on the edge for your embellishment. The Matubos are going to go here in the center and the obviously the Iris Duos are right here. You're also going to need some seed beads. You're going to need 15 O's and 11 O's. For my 15 O's I'm using the Miyuki turquoise green lined crystal. For my 11 O's, I'm using the Miyuki Duracoat Galvanized Light Pewter, and I love this color. It's just a nice color. I love it. It goes with a lot of different color beads. It's not that bright silver like the Crystal Labrador, but it's just, um, well, the it's a light pewter color. So I'm going to be using those also. To fasten my bracelet, I'm using a cup button, but you could use whatever kind of fastener you like. I have a preference for cup buttons, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm using the turquoise Picasso, and that will go really, really well with my Matubos. But I think pretty much whatever color you use, even if you use like a solid, like Aztec gold or the Labrador or the Labrador Vitri or the crystal betrayal or or something like that that would look just as pretty also to thread everything on i'm going to use wildfire beading thread in green 0 0.006 you're going to need two size 10 beading needles something to cut your thread with i'm using the ultra thread zap To flatten my thread ends, I'm just using some flat nose pliers. And on your thread, feel free to just thread what you are comfortable working with. If you want to start out with five feet, that's fine. This is going to take more than five feet of thread, but um, you can add thread later on. You don't have to thread the full amount of thread on your needles. I'm going to go ahead and thread mine with seven feet. But when you're using two needles, it isn't so bad because you're using two needles. So it's not like you just have one needle and a long piece of thread. You have two needles, so it, it, short, it's, it shortens it, so it's easier. All you need to do, though, is remember to have the same length of tail of a tail on both sides after you, on both needles after you've threaded it. So 
that what that's what you're going to need for your supplies go ahead and get all of your materials together and I'll show you what to do first okay so I have piles of my beads and I have my threads my needles threaded ready to go and for the bracelet I have here this fits me this is six and a half little bit little bit teeny weeny bit bigger than six and a half and for this size I used 18 Matu Matubo beads and 34 iris duos and 34 rondelles so if you need a bracelet bigger than this you'll just need to add for a couple more units maybe 36 I'm using 34 iris duos here so maybe 35 36 maybe from 36 to 38 iris duos and then for your matubos I'm using 18 maybe 19 or 20 so just just figure um, how much you're going to need also this bracelet will not shrink on you so if you want to make it if you want to make it just to fit you remember take your your clasp or your cut button into account see mine is comfortable I don't need it super tight because I do want to be, be able to move my wrist and I don't want my bracelet to be uncomfortable so I can fit a finger underneath it so this is how mine looks and mine is just a little bit little teeny weeny bit over six and a six and a half inches long so just figure how many you're going to need okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with our iris duos our matubos um, our 11 O's and our 15 O's pretty much everything except for our rondelles our cut button we are also not going to add just yet either okay so the first thing we need to string is well let's let's do a matubo and let it fall to the center of your thread and then on both needles you are going to need an 11 oh and then let those fall and you're going to need iris duos and before you start just make sure all the holes of your iris duos are not clogged they're clear and ready to go now our iris duos have a back a flat back and a puffy side the puffy side is the front so you want to pick them up um, in doing this project I'm going to refer to this hole oops this hole here because there are two holes you got one here and one here I'm going to refer to this one as your um, your bottom hole and this one as your top hole so go into on your left needle go into it like that on your right needle go into it like that through the bottom hole so this is how they need to be threaded and let those drop to the center of your string so to show you this is how it should look string left string coming out on the bottom hole of your iris duo right string coming out on the bottom hole also of your other iris duo so this is how it looks two irises two 11 o's and a matubo in the middle now you're going to hop on over to the top hole of your iris duo on with both with your left and your right needle hop on over to the top make sure that your beads are centered still you don't want to lose that so put these closer your first one is going to be just a little bit um, like this but once you get it going you won't have this trouble with worrying about it being centered so you have now you have two strings coming out 
the middle of your pro or inside your project. This is inside your project. So when you're coming out the top hole of your iris dose and you're inside of your project, pick up an 11-0 on each of your needles, let them drop, pick up a Matubo bead and cross through it. Left goes in, comes out on your right side, right goes in, comes out on your left side. And this is what you have. This is what you have now. So you're coming out of your Matubo bead. You have just crossed in it and you're coming out of it. Both of your strings are exiting your Matubo bead. You're going to be tempted to go into the 11 0 and back in the iris. Don't do that. When you're coming out of your Matubo bead, pick up an 11 on each needle. Let them drop and pick up another iris stew on each needle. And you're going to pick them up. They're going to look like this. That's how you got to get them. So you're going to have to go like that. And on this side too. Like that. And this is what you have. So this is what you have. You are exiting your iris duos on both, both of your needles, both of your threads are exiting iris duos on the bottom hole. Now we need to connect this iris duo with the previous one, this one with that one, this one with that one. So on each needle, you're gonna pick up a 15-0, 11-0, and a 15-0. Oh. I bead without my glasses on. But since whenever I'm filming, my beads are a little bit just too far away from me. So it's, it's uh, different than when I'm just beading, when I'm just doing a project off of camera. So there we go. I have a 15-0, 11-0, 15-0 on each of my needles. Each of my needles are exiting the, the, this iris duo that we just added. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick this up so I can see better. I am going to connect to the previous iris duo by going in through that iris duo, in through the 11-0 next to it. Now I'm not going to go through this 11 0 I'm going to go diagonally. So I'm going to go through this 11 0 out that iris duo. I'm going to pull. So this is what we have. And I'm going to do it again. I'll show you again. I already have my beads on my thread. I'm going to go through this iris duo, through the 11 0 next to it, through the Matubo bead and then add a diagonal like that. If I put it against the white, maybe you can see it better. Through this 11 the Matubo, and then this 11 so add a diagonal, out the iris duo. And that's going to put our little connecting beads there on the end, and we're connecting our iris duos. Now we're going to expose a little thread when we do this, but it won't be a big deal because we are going to cover it with our step after this. So step up the top hole of your iris duel like that. On the other side too, step up. And now we're coming out the middle of our in the inside of our project. Not the middle of our project, but the inside of our project. Every time we're coming out like that, out of the top hole of our iris duos in the inside of our project, that is when we're going to add, now we're gonna do the 11-0 on each needle. When it looks like that, 11-0 on each needle, Matubo, Cross through your Matubo and pull.
pull. Now we're going to add our next iris duos by picking up an 11 0 on each needle. Make sure you just get one. And then our next iris duos. And again, make sure the flat side is facing down. Go through your iris duo like this. Let me set them both down like that so you can see. Like that. That's how you want to be. Well, let me pull the thread so it's not so. Okay, that's whenever you're coming out, when it, once you've crossed through your Matubo and you've added your 11 O's, that's how you're going to add your iris duos by going in through it like that on this side and like that on your right side. Pull. And now we need to connect them. So again, 15 0 on each needle, 11 0, 15 0, 15 0, 11 0, 15 0. Okay, on each needle, 15 0, 11 0, 15 0. Let those drop. Now we're going to connect. We're going to go through the our previous iris duo, the 11 0 right next to it, and then the Matubo, and then up through this iris duo again, add a diagonal and pull and out. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I just added my beads. I'm going to go through this iris duo, the 11 0 after it, the Matubo, and up that 11 0 and out that iris duo that we just added and I'm going to pull and that is going to connect that give a good pull and just kind of hold your beads while you're pulling your thread so this is what you should have and this is all of the first step now we're going to hop back up to the other hole of our iris on both sides and we're ready to do our next unit by adding our 11 0 Matubo and 11 0. So go ahead and do the length of your wrist, the length that you want and I'll meet you back and show you what to do next. If you need to um, rewind this video, go ahead and do that. But I'll meet you back after we've done all of this. Okay, so I've already done 34 of my iris duos and I have 18 of my Matubo beads. This is the length that I need and it's about, I have that much, but I still need to add my cup button and my loop so that'll take care of the rest. So. Add all of your iris duos, work, once you've worked up, when you're done, you should be exiting a Matubo bead, like this. So your beginning, how we started, looks like your end, but you're exiting the Matubo. So just add your final iris duos, your final connecting beads, go up like this, come out and then come out of your Matubo, add your last Matubo and your 11 O's. Same thing on this side. You're connecting beads through the iris up like that. Come out this hole of your iris duo, add your 11 O on this side and then cross through your Matubo. So we should be coming out of our Matubo like this. Now add an 11 O on each bead. And one more to cross. One more to cross. Like that. Now we're going to, don't pull too tight on there because you don't want it to um, put your bracelet out of shape. So just snug enough. Now do three 11 O's on each needle. One, two, three. 
And we're going to add our cut button. Our cut button. So you have three on each needle. With one needle, go up your cut button. I'm going to decorate it, but with 11 O's only. I'm not going to add a crystal. So I'm going to do three 11 O's. I'm going to come out of my cut button uh, and from on the other hole. And um, my other needle, I'm going to go up my cut button on this side. I'm going to catch the first 11 0. I'm going to tighten it. And I'm going to go through the middle bead. And then, since it's still kind of loose, I haven't really tightened it, I can get all three beads up there and then go down my three here. And on this side, I need to go down these three here on the side. So I'm exiting on both needles. Both. Okay, now I gotta tighten it. It's kind of hard to tighten at this point. We need to go through that middle 11 0 here. So with this needle, cross through this 11 0 again. And then with this needle, cross through this 11 0. And then pull. And then that will tighten your cut button. Now I'm going to take one needle. I'm going to see which, even though I, I, I center my thread, sometimes I still have one just a little bit longer than the other. So with my longer thread, I'm going to go back. I'm coming out of this middle needle. I'm going to go back up these three. I'm going to catch the one right here on the end of my cut button. Okay, there we go. Just to reinforce one more time, I like to have three threads in my cut button. And like I said, I use the needle with the longer piece. I'm going to come down, down these three again, and I'm going to go through that middle bead again where I crossed. I'm going to pull again. So now my cut button is on and I've reinforced it three times. So I'm coming out, both of my needles are coming out of this middle bead. This middle bead. Now our bracelet is already pretty just like this. So if you wanted to, you could just go ahead, go ahead and add your loop here on the end the way we did our cut button and then just leave it. It's already pretty. But I want my embellishments on the side. So I'm going to go down this 11 0 on my left side. Then I'm going to take my other needle, go through this 11 0 on my right side that's next to the crossing bead. And I'm going to add three 11 O's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My left needle, I'm going to go through this. I added three 11 O's, let them drop. I'm going to go through this hole of my iris jewel. I'm going to go through the 11 O, the Matubo, the other 11 O, come out through this. Iris duo on this side. I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to, going to go through this Iris duo hole through the 11 O, the Matubo, the 11 O. I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to come out through this Iris duo. I'm going to pull. Now we're we're not quite ready to add our embellishments because we need to be coming out these three beads. So we're just going to go on through the top here, go through all of these beads in the line. These four, 
the middle crossing bead the one after it and then the three we just added so I'm coming out here on this side I'm coming out of these three beads and then I'm going to put my string to the side and I'm coming out of the iris doll on this side I want to end up on this side so I'm going to go back up through these and I'm going to go through all of this line again and it's getting kind of tight in that 11 0 where we um crossed but you can still go through there and it's an 11 0 so you shouldn't have a problem now go through these four if you can't get them all that's fine just do as many as you can until you're coming out of this last one so now we're ready to add our second step which would be just the embellishments on the side now this part is just super easy we're not going to be doing any more crossing we're just going to our left needle is going to stay on the left hand side our needle on your right hand is going to stay on your right hand side and it's just adding a well since we're right here at the end there's just a little bit more space than there would be if um, compared to these spaces here in between. So we're going to do an 11 0, a 15, and now we're going to be working with our rondelles, a 15, a rondelle, get my 15s closer, a 15. So I have a 11 0, 15, rondelle 15. I'm going to go through this next grouping of 15 0, 11 0, 15 0, and I'm going to add my beads. And I'm going to do that on this side. Whoops. I'm going to add an 11 0, 15 0, rondelle, and a 15 0. So I have 11-0-15-0, rondelle 15 0, and I'm going to go through this grouping here of 15-0, 11-0-15-0, and pull. And that's going to set our rondelle right there on the side. Now, the rest of the bracelet, until we get to the very end, it's going to be 15-0, rondelle 15 0, all the way down. And that's pretty easy, which is good because once you have already gone through all of this here with your iris duos and your matubos and crossing and, and sewing in through the middle of your project, the inside of your project, it's fun now just to do nothing but embellishment real simple and it's just the final touch and it's it's easy and it's fun so go through your next grouping here of 15 0 11 15 0 try not to catch your bracelet and put your rondelle into place try to do just a few and then switch on over to the other side don't do half of it and then switch just don't get too far ahead. You don't want to ruin the tension. You don't want your bracelet to curve to one side and this will keep the tension equal so it'll stay correct and straight. Okay, 15-0, rondelle 15-0 through my next grouping of 15-0, 11-0, 15-0 and pull. And that puts my rondelle right there. And I think I picked up another color that was in my bunch that did not belong there. So I'm just going to back out. This must have just stowed away, which is fine. I'll take it off. Now I'm going to do the rondelle again on my 15-0. Okay. So I'm here, I'm going to go through this grouping here with the correct rondelle this time, and that's what I have. 
So I'm going to do this all the way down on this side. When we get to, when you finish this last one, because this is different, since we don't have our 11 O's here in place or, or our loop yet, you're going to end here after this one, after this grouping. So end there and I'll meet you back and I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I've already added my rondelles on my sides and I really like these colors. I like how it's going to look already. Okay, so we haven't, we don't have our seed beads here. We don't have our loop. So after we've added this one here before, right before this last grouping here, and we're coming out of that grouping of uh, after we've added our rondelle our rondelle with our 15 O's and we've come out of our grouping here of 15 O, 11 O, 15 O. That's where we're coming out of. We're going to go in through this iris duo, go in through the 11 O after it, the Matubo, the 11 O after the Matubo and out that iris duo. And if you can get them all at once, Good. If you can't, go in one at a time. And then I'm going to do that on this side too. I'm going to go through the iris duo, the 11 0, the Matubo. I'm going to try to do it. The iris, I mean the 11 0 after the Matubo. Okay, once I get the 11 0, that's fine. I'll have to go in this through the iris duo like this at an angle, and it's easy. So now we're coming out of our, make sure I, there's no thread showing. Okay, got them all. Now we're coming out of our iris duos like this. So let's hop on over to the other hole of our iris duo, go through the 11 0 next to it, and out of the Matubo. Same thing on this side. Up the iris, in through the 11 0, and out the Matubo. So we want to be exiting our Matubo bead. And my thread, I need to move my needles now. Okay, so now we're going to do like the way we did here, we're going to do here, but we're going to do our loop. So I'm going to do an 11-0 on each side. An 11-0 across. And then I'm going to pick up a whole slew of 11 O's so that I can do my loop for my cut button. I'm just going to pick them all up on one needle and then I'll take my other needle and go through it once I have them all once I have all of the 11 O's that I need. And um, here we go. I'm just, I'm not counting, I'm just going to look at it and kind of visually estimate it. It won't take long. There we go. Although this part may not be the most exciting Thing to watch in a video but okay I think I'm good I'm going to go in through that same 11 over we crossed in but in the other direction I'm coming out of it I'm going to go into that same one and I'm going to cross and I'm going to go in but I'm going to go in through the opposite direction I'm going to check my button and it's kind of small because when I tried it my beads kind of separated so Okay, just untangle what I have here. Okay, I'm going to add a couple more. And pull this other needle. If it loosens, just pull your needles and it'll tighten again. And try it again. I added two more. And I'm going to hold on to my other string and I'm going to try it again 
that's better. Okay, I'm going to take my other one and I'm going to go through all of these beads. Through all of them. Pull, pull my other needle again because it's loosening. That That's fine. It's going to keep doing that until you cross, until you go in through that crossing bead or that bead you've been crossing in through. Down. I'm almost done. Going to go through that middle needle where we've been crossing in and pull. So my loop's good. Now I'm going to go through this 11 0 here on this side. Mommy, that was a shame. And then I'm and then I'm going to go through this one here. And I'm going to pick up three 11 O's here. I'm going to go through this Iris Duo straight across the 11 O Matubo 11 O. Come out through this Iris Duo. Same thing over here, three 11 O's, in through this iris duo, go straight ahead, across through these here, the 11 O, Matubo 11 O, and out, well, can't get them all, and then out this iris duo. Okay, and then just how I did over here, I had to go back up on both sides, go through these so that I can get in place to add my embellishment. I'm going to go through here, through here. And I'm almost out of string through these three. And got those two. And I'm out. Now on this one that's coming out of my iris duo, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through these up here. Because i got to end up out of my 11 O's that I just added. It's going to go up here. Whoa, I don't want to pull this again. And then go through this. Go through these two. And now I will be in place to add my final embellishment. Which is just like this, but on this end, with an 11 0, 15 0, rondelle, 15 0. And I'm going to go through this here. And just go through the 15 0, 11 0, 15 0. And then go through this iris duo next to it. And come out on this side. Do your 11 0, 15 0, rondelle, 15 0, and go through that grouping here. Whoops, they all fell out of my 11 0, 15 0, rondelle. 15 0. Go through the grouping here only of the 15 11 0 15 and go through the iris duo here and meet your threads. Flip your work over and meet your threads. Okay, flip my work. 
I'm going to meet my threads on one side. I'm coming out of this iris jewel. I'm going to go through the 11. And I'm going to have to... There. Matubo. And through this 11. And I can go through it. I'm just... There we go. So my threads are now meeting. And I'm going to remove my... So I can tie a knot and then I will burn my thread. And this is what we got. And once you tie your knot and you cut your thread or burn it off, if you want to glue it, you can dab, dab some glue on it. But this will complete our project. And I seem to have put my thread burner somewhere else, but our project is complete. This is our bracelet. We are all done with our, with our garden, with our garden gate bracelet. So this is what we have. The first step, doing your iris duos and your matubos and your 11 O's and crossing and doing your, your connecting beads here, that does take some time. It does take some patience, but you're going to get a really cute, a really, really beautiful bracelet out of it. But just remember, that's the hardest part of the project because after that is just your embellishments. Of course, along with your cut button and your loop or whatever you're going to use to fasten your bracelet. But that's the hardest part of this project. The rest of it is pretty simple and you're gonna get something really beautiful out of it. And this is how mine looks and I really like it. And I like the colors too. So this is what we got. I hope you enjoy making this as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed it and once again these are these are with our with the new iris jewel beads ex exclusive to Potomac Bead Company you can only get them with Potomac Bead Company and um, but I do strongly recommend them they're a fun bead to play with lots of lots of great ideas with these beads so um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thank you very much for watching.